Russia, enemy or friend. For years, we've believed that the Soviet Union was our mortal enemy. But doors have opened, and the winds of change have blown through Russia. The Soviet Union is a country in economic and political turmoil, filled with people who desperately need Jesus Christ. But how would the Russian people respond to the gospel? Many have forgotten what this great church commemorates. But we from America are here today to remind them and tell them that this church commemorates the one true and living God and the many who have walked these streets of Moscow to tell the inhabitants of the love of God. Power team, tonight in our big meeting, come see us. You enjoy it. They lined up hours before service time in Moscow, Kiev, and Leningrad. The tension mounted in all of us as the lines grew to 10, 11, and 12,000. At the door, a Russian New Testament was handed to everyone. How strange, how unbelievable, in a land that only months ago banned the Bible and all religion as the opiate of the people, according to Karl Marx. Inside, the mood was somber, even tense. It was clearly evident that this was a different kind of audience. They did not know what to expect, nor did we. My heart was pounding as I stepped to the microphone. I breathed a prayer for the Holy Spirit's assistance. Praise the Lord! Slava Kospodu! I bring love and greetings to all of you in Russia from millions of your brothers and sisters in the United States of America. We have come from America to tell you that we love you, but most of all, God loves you. Polite applause followed. We have good news for Russia. It's simply this. God loves you. And we love you. And we bring you love from millions, millions who love you in the United States of America. I told them that one reason we had come to Russia was to seek to establish an old Christian TV network in their land. The applause was more enthusiastic. They were warming up to us. I introduced our team from America. Over 200 of our TBN family stood and waved from their special audience section. The applause was thunderous. We were off and running. Finally, the moment for which we had come. Would anyone actually respond? Would they really come forward and receive Christ? Remember, this is Russia, communist, atheistic Russia. For over 70 years, two generations have been systematically taught there is no God. Do you want Jesus to break the chains in your life? Do you want to receive him into your heart? Partners, as God is my witness, I believe every hand went up. The aisles are choked, the altar area jammed. Our 200 TBN family, local Russian pastors, are talking, praying, giving out name cards for follow-up. A Russian pastor finally takes over and leads them in another prayer of salvation, just to be sure. Has he asked Christ to come into his heart? Uh, I just prayed that prayer. That was my prayer right now. Tonight, tonight, right now, right here, I did that. Ask him if he really mean it. I'm 100% serious about that. Over 70,000 attended the six nights in Moscow, Kiev, and Leningrad. And I can promise you that 50,000 plus came forward to receive Jesus. Partners, it really was to Russia with love. I remember